This episode is sponsored by Ace Hardware. Ace, the helpful place. When you've been woodworking as long as I have, you can take some of the little things for granted because you just think that everybody already knows about them, but that's only because you've been woodworking for so long. And one of the things that I use every day, but I've never talked about on the show here, is a zero clearance insert for the table saw. So that's what we're gonna make today. This is the insert that came with the saw, and I almost never use this except for cutting angles, and I also keep it around as a pattern for new inserts. And one of the reasons why I avoid this insert is material can fall down through the insert and get caught between the edge of the insert and the blade. My favorite material for table saw inserts is half inch Baltic birch plywood. It has multiple veneers, it's very strong, very stable, and has almost no voids, if any. The first step in making the insert is to rip the half inch plywood at the width of the factory insert. In this case, it's four inches. After ripping the plywood at four inches, you can see that it's just a little snug. It fits, but it's, it's a little too tight. So I'll put the insert back, raise the blade, and take maybe just about a 64th of an inch off. Okay, and that's a lot better. On my table saw, the tabs that hold the insert are at about 7 sixteenths of an inch, a little lighter than a half of an inch. So you'll have to mill the material to fit perfectly flush with the top of the saw. In this case, I used regular half inch plywood and regular half inch plywood is a little bit heavier than Baltic birch plywood. And you can see I, mill I milled it by running it over the saw this way. And when you do that, you want to mill it before you cut the round over. But since I'm using Baltic birch plywood, which is a little bit lighter, it's closer to 7 16 of an inch, I'll run this through the drum sander and keep fitting it until I have the perfect height. And since I don't have to mill it this way, I'll go ahead and cut the round over in first. Okay, so that's a pretty good fit, but you can see I've got a little problem here. What's happening is the blade is hitting the bottom of the insert. And the way I'm going to cut through the insert is by raising the blade through the insert, but the blade needs to be able to spin freely in order to do that. So to raise this up a little bit so I can cut through the insert, I'm going to use double stick tape, which is about a sixteenth of an inch thick, and that will raise the insert up just enough so the blade will spin freely, and then I'll Turn the saw on, raise the blade, and cut through the insert. I was just thinking that before I raise the blade through the insert, I'm going to paint it red first, mainly because I think it's going to make kind of a good short video for Instagram, but also it's good to have a red insert. It reminds you that this is the danger area. Okay, well that looks pretty good. 
but you can see when I use the paint scraper that it's just a little bit heavy. So I'll pop it out and run it through the drum sander until it's nice and flush with the top. Okay, well definitely just kind of a simple tip video this time, but definitely useful. I've been using a zero clearance insert on my table saw uh, ever since I've been woodworking. I learned how to woodwork in a commercial cabinet shop and those guys always had zero clearance inserts on their table saws. Now obviously all table saws are a little bit different, our manufacturers are a little bit different, so you'll have to customize your insert to your saw. A few things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, one is, you may know I have a new channel, it's called Two River TV, and it focuses on the area where I live here in New Jersey. It's just kind of a fun channel that will focus on things that I'm interested in, and things that I'm doing that aren't so much woodworking related. Uh, we've got two videos up there. The first one was a catch and cook video, where we went fishing on the Navasink River, caught a fluke, and then cooked it up here in the outdoor kitchen. Uh, the most recent video is a beekeeping video, so if you have followed any of my beekeeping videos, I'll be posting all of my beekeeping videos on the Two River TV channel, and I'll have links to the channel and those videos in the description. And one more thing I wanted to talk about is I just shot and edited a video for Park Seed Company, and that's going to be on their channel. So that's something new that I'm doing. I'm uh, making videos for other companies where it's not on my channel, but they may be a sponsor of the show and That's kind of a new thing. It's kind of fun. And so in this video I unbox assemble and plant a planter and if you want to see the video I'll have a link to that video in the description also Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time to see what I'm working on now follow me on Instagram and Facebook for vlog style Q&A's check out my second channel shop talk to see some of the cool things to do and learn about in my area, check out my third channel, Two River TV. There'll be links in the description.